one. It's Nancy. She's got yarn. It's what's today. Today's Thursday, the third of March. Um, wanted to hop on and say good afternoon. It's two o'clock. Took the day off. I uh, I'm going in town to get a Philly steak sub. We have a new uh, steak little steak sandwich shop in High Springs. We got some pretty good steak subs, Phillies, and they've got um, some awesome salads. Something different because I can't stand Burger King. I used to love Burger King. Their hamburgers taste like nothing. They don't taste like, I don't know. That was before COVID. Um, and McDonald's, I don't know what's in that patty anymore. <laughs> oh, but uh, yeah, we got this is a little, it's, it's very organized. You call, they give you a number, you walk in and you get your order. It's kind of like you can eat outside on tables, it's on the corner. You know, High Springs is a little town, it has antique shops, most of them are have closed, sadly. Um, one of the biggest ones it looks like it's closing but anyways they just opened that little sub shop and then there's another like cold sandwich little shop across the street called Bambi's she's been there for a few years she has like you order the sub and it's like you can't open your mouth wide enough <laughs> uh, they're good but I'm not crazy about the bread she uses I'm really picky I don't like hard bread. I like soft bread, I like soft yarn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and the boys are going with me. So, and I, I kind of noticed from FedEx, I've got yarn, I think, coming in. I don't know who from. Um, ice yarn usually does DHL. But I've got an ice yarn, I got Premier, and I got Hershner. I got three orders out there and I think I'm going to slow down a little bit until I purge some yarn um, gotta pass the tractor grandpa's got a sexy tractor <laughs> you ever heard that song she thinks my tractor's sexy I can't sing <laughs> God. <laughs> uh. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, my lunch. You know, and I was thinking, I got coupons from Joanne's and the coupon booklet. And, oh, I haven't opened my emails because I'm afraid to. Uh. I'm going on vacation. And I want to have money to do something. to Anna Maria Island in Florida. And my favorite crafty Floridian lives right next door. <laughs> we were going to go to Colorado, but my dad's having surgery. I have to be here. So we changed everything. I'm not going far away. And he's, his surgery is the 20, I think the 26th of this month. March. No, April. It's April. And then we're going to go, oops, we're going to go on, on uh, vacation in May. So, yeah, we had to change everything. We were going to go to Colorado. Thank goodness we, we didn't actually put a deposit on anything. We were, we were searching, you know. So, yeah. Maybe next year. I don't like to go too far from home anyways. I don't like leaving my babies behind. My fur babies. Because they get... Zeus is very anxious without me. Tyler said that he sits in my room and just stares out the window the whole time I'm gone. The Maverick does too. everybody's having fun or having a good day at least. I know what I wanted to mention. Have you all? Um, I know you guys watch your um, drawing a blank. Sandy from
Croatia, Canada. Sandy, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. I'll link it, I'll put it in this video, like right here somewhere. Um, but anyways, have you saw, have you guys seen her hair? Hot mama, she looks awesome. You look so good, Sandy, I hope you're watching this. I love it. You look 20 years younger. I'm serious. I don't even know how old you are, but you look really good. My hair is white too. I have to color it or I look older. <laughs> but, uh, take a second it look like what and you know when you get a new haircut or whatever and everybody's telling you you look good it picks you up you know but what because I noticed with a lot of channels I'm guilty of it we all get kind of in a funk in the winter or just after the winter all of us I've watched it and um, yeah she looked so happy. Her eyes were, I don't know. I just, you could just see how good she felt. And I'm happy for her. Because it's cold in Canada, I'm sure. But, yeah, I love, I love, love her hair. It looks great. It looks healthy. Not that it wasn't healthy, but you know what I mean. When I color my hair, it's shiny for, for about a week. <laughs> and then all the grays start poking out and starts looking dull looking. I'm about to. So, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here. And um, I've got a couple things I've been working on and hopefully finish up this video. I want to share what I was doing last night. other than knitting. I'll be back. I'm going to tell you guys my guilty pleasure. Not only the steak sub, I love french fries. Everybody loves french fries. And I like salt. You know what I love with those french fries? Not ketchup. Not mustard. A buttermilk ranch. Yum. I also like cheese. Oh my god, I'm going to get a ticket. Oh, I'm doing the speed limit. <laughs> 65. I just passed a cop and... I was doing 65. It's 65. I thought I was still in the 50 zone. Anyways. Um, back to the french fries. My guilty pleasure. Oh. I love it with buttermilk ranch. Anyways, I'm being really bad. Let's just say it's my ice cream. I can't go tomorrow. This weekend is girl weekend with, it's Tansy weekend, me and Tiffany. For those of my new subscribers, Tiffany and Nancy equals Tansy. And so the boys at the house have called it Tansy's in town. It's me and Tiff. <laughs> so we call it Tansy time. Um, my daughter and I are extremely close, um, and we we just do stuff. We spend the night with one another, you know. I mean, she's married. She comes and stays with me when her husband's hunting or whatever. He doesn't really hunt. He 
hangs out with his best friend lives in Georgia. And they're usually building something, creating. He's 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 a contractor, and but he can he builds an airboat from the ground up. If he touches it, it turns to gold. It's crazy. Um, he's amazing. I love my son-in-law. But um, or to this weekend, I'm going out there to my. It's, she lives behind my parents. She's building a house, living in an RV, and um, she's living in a fifth wheel and um, out back. So yeah, so my parents are going to be there too. So it'll be fun. They told me to bring my bathing suit. They got the pool filled. My parents' place has come to life. You know, since I've grown up and my kids, you know, everybody's grown up and moved away, you'd go out there. The pool would be like empty, but had mud in like the deep end. Just, you know, it, it was kind of like deserted. And since Tiff has moved out there with the kids, my son-in-law, he loves to tinker and do stuff. Him and my dad have a bromance going on. <laughs> uh, they hang out every evening, and um, which I think is great. And um, they filled the pool up. They got they got stuff working that hasn't been working in a long time, you know. So, and the kid, you know, kids are out there, and uh, my parents are enjoying that because. You know, you know how it is. A lot of you, our kids are gone, and it's an empty nest, and it's quiet. And, you know, I don't, I don't get bored, but I have in the past been bored. <laughs> but no, nothing boring in this life, huh, Zeus? Life full of doggy drama and yarn. Well, I'm going to get off of here so I can download this video. Um, I want to show you something that I was working on last night. I've been working on a few things. Um, the doggy hats, when I made them, I didn't write down a pattern. I didn't do counts. So, I've written down the count stitch. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do a pattern. Meow. I'm going to try to do a tutorial. I'm going to try. I'm just going to run the video and turn it off. You know, after I do a few stitches in a row and you know, you know how it is, but I got it all written down. So hopefully I can do it right. Um, so I'm going to try making no promises. So anywho, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey everyone. I finally finished my little Elmo, improvised Elmo. I stuffed his head. And I sewed, I crocheted his nose, I just sewed, what do you call it, embroidered his mouth, and I just did little magic circles, like, mm, I think I did like eight on the white, and then like four on the black, and just did single crochet in the round, but um, yeah, and this red right here, is the same red here. I held two yarns together, black and red, but it looks like a different colored red. I don't, I don't get that, but, um, yep, I'm all done with my first square. Um, this was easy, this was not, but I just have to learn how to do this kind of stuff. I'm not an amigurumi person, and, um, yeah, but I think I did okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I did. <laughs>